हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम सी एम आकुला श्रीधर एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू फाइनेंस एम सी क्यू चैनल हेर वी हैव स्टार्टेड रिविजन सीरीज फॉर योर अपकमिंग एग्जाम ऑफ एन पी एस ट्रस्ट फेज टू सो लेट्स बिगिन एंड ट्राई टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन अलॉन्ग विद मी एंड मेक श्योर टू अंडरस्टैंड ऑल द कॉन्सेप्ट वेल वेल फ्रेंड्स द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द स्कीम ऑफ नेशनल पेंशन सिस्टम इज रेगुलेटेड बाय ऑप्शन ए पी एफ आर डी ए ऑप्शन बी से बी ऑप्शन सी आर बी आई ऑप्शन डी नबार्ड एंड लास्ट ऑप्शन नन ऑफ द अब सो फ्रेंड्स रिमेंबर दैट द स्कीम ऑफ नेशनल पेंशन सिस्टम इज रेगुलेटेड बाय द पेंशन फंड रेगुलेटरी एंड डेवलपमेंट अथॉरिटी दैट इज पी एफ आर डी ए एंड फ्रेंड्स रिमेंबर दैट पी एफ आर डी ए वॉज एस्टैब्लिश्ड ऑन ट्वेंटी and the current chairman of pfrda is supratim bandyopadhyay moving on next question the margin of safety can be increased by option a decreasing selling price option b decreasing production option c increasing fixed cost option d decreasing variable cost and last option none of the above so friends here first of all we should know the formula for calculating margin of safety well friends margin of safety is the difference between total sales and break even sales and friends break even sales is calculated as fixed cost upon profit volume ratio and friends the formula for profit volume ratio is sales minus variable cost upon sales into 100 so friends here a decrease in variable cost will cause an increase in profit volume ratio and profit volume ratio being the denominator any increase in profit volume ratio will cause a reduction in break even sales thus causing an increase in margin of safety so friends here the correct answer is option d that is the margin of safety can be increased by decreasing variable cost moving on next question under which annuity plan an entrant pays premium till the policy of the term is over and after the term is over the annuitant will start receiving pension so friends here the options are life annuity deferred annuity annuity certain immediate annuity and last all of the above so friends here the correct answer is option b deferred annuity so friends here we can say that nps is a type of deferred annuity plan because under nps the subscriber pays the contribution on regular intervals till he attain his retirement age and then he starts receiving pension and what is immediate annuity so friends under immediate annuity plan the individual pays a lump sum amount to the insurer or pension fund manager as a premium in one go and in return he starts receiving monthly payments in the form of pension or annuity and what is life annuity plan so friends under life annuity plan the pension is paid till the annuitant's death and if with spouse option is chosen there after his death the pension is paid to the spouse and finally annuity certain plan also known as guaranteed annuity plan is opposite to life annuity where annuity or pension is paid for a specific period and for specific amount only moving on next question income is recorded in the books of accounts when sales is realized in cash or legal rights has been transferred is based on option a dual aspect concept option b going concern concept option c realization concept option d separate entity concept and last option none of the above so friends here the correct answer is option c realization concept according to realization concepts revenues are not recognized unless they are realized similarly an expense should be recognized when goods are brought or services are received whether cash has been paid or not so friends that is why when a company receives an advance from its customer it does not show it as sales revenue immediately in fact it is booked as an advance in the customer names until the sale is completed now let's revise the other concepts also first one is dual aspect concept so friends under dual aspect concept every transaction is recorded in the two sides of books of account one on the debit side and other on the credit side for example suppose we made a purchase from mr raju for rupees 5000 rupees so in that case purchase account will be debited by 5000 and mr raju account will be credited with an equal amount of 5000 rupees and what is going concern concept 
and friends undergoing concern concept we assume that the company will not discontinue its operations in the near future and is capable of paying its debts and running its daily operation and finally separate entity concept also known as economic entity concept here the business organization is treated as a separate legal entity from its owners so this ensures that the business is taxed separately and that is why friends all assets of the companies are purchased and all liabilities are incurred in the company's name moving on next question bonus issue is also known as debt securitization conversion of shares reserve capitalization of profit conversion of debt into equity and last option none of the above the answer is option c capitalization of profit so friends when a company is issuing bonus shares it is actually capitalizing its profits and converting it into shares capital so friends remember that the provisions related to issue of bonus shares is covered under section 63 of companies act 2013 and friends also remember that the company can issue bonus shares out of only three sources first is free reserves second is securities premium account and last is capital redemption reserve account moving on next question liquidity ratio is also known as short term solvency ratio long term solvency ratio efficiency ratio performance ratio and last option none of the above so friends here remember that liquidity ratio is also known as short term solvency ratio and how liquidity ratio is calculated liquidity ratio is calculated with the help of two ratios that is current ratio and quick ratio also known as asset test ratio so current ratio is current assets upon current liabilities while quick ratio is current assets minus stock plus prepaid expenses divided by current liabilities and friends the ideal current ratio is 2 is to 1 while the ideal quick ratio is 1 is to 1 and friends how do you measure long term solvency ratio so friends long term solvency ratio is measured by debt equity ratio and friends the formula for debt equity ratio is total debt upon shareholders fund and there is an explanation also here friends liquidity ratio or short term solvency means a firm's ability to pay off its short term liabilities moving on next question dividend entitled by equity shareholder is an appropriation of profit charged against profit option c profit before tax and d option either b and c and last option none of the above so friends here first of all we should understand the difference between charged against profit and appropriation of profit so friends charge against profit is an expense for the firm and has to be paid by the company whether the firm earns profit or incurs losses on the other hand friends appropriation of profit means that they are allowed only if the firm earns profit during that year so friends here the correct answer has to be option a that is appropriation of profit and friends dividend to equity shareholders are paid from the net profit of the company after charging interest other expenses and taxes therefore it is said to be as appropriation of profit or allocation of profit moving on next question nifty futures expires on option a every thursday of week option b last thursday of the month option c twice in a month option d last friday of the month and last option none of the above so friends remember that two types of derivative contracts are traded on the exchange these are futures and options and friends nifty future is a type of future and it expires on last thursday of the month so friends all monthly future and option segments expire on last thursday of the month moving on next question the base year for wholesale price index in india is 1985 86 1980 81 2004 5 2011 12 and last option 
none of the above so friends remember that the base year for wpi is option d 2011 12 and friends wholesale price index measures the changes in price of goods sold between businesses and it is published by ministry of commerce and industry and friends as far as consumer price index is considered it measures the prices of goods and services purchased by consumers and friends consumer price index is calculated by national statistical office which is under ministry of statistics and program implementation moving on next question who appoints the chairman of finance commission option a president option b vice president option c prime minister option d lok sabha speaker and last option finance minister so friends remember that the chairman of finance commission is appointed by option a president and friends Finance Commission is constituted under Article 280 of the Constitution, and presently, 15th Finance Commission is in operation. And the chairman of present Finance Commission is N K Singh. So, friends, for more practice of such MCQs, please visit our website financemcq.in, where the entire paper two of NPS Grade B exam phase two of General Stream is brought in MCQ format for practice and quick revision. Friends, here more than two thousand quality MCQs prepared by professionals such as chartered accountant and cost and management accountant is brought to you for practice. Friends, Finance MCQ presents the entire syllabus covering all topics such as commerce and accountancy, costing, economics, finance. Companies Act, Management and Pension Sector in detailed, subject-wise, topic-wise format for thorough preparation of your upcoming exam. And friends, not only this, there's an email support for clarification of doubts raised by candidates while practicing these contents. So, practicing at Finance MCQ is the most simple and fastest way to quickly and completely revise full syllabus of Paper Two of the exam. And friends. Why paper two is important? Because it covers fifty percent of the total syllabus. With the remaining fifty percent reserved for English subject, good preparation of this technical syllabus will be a sure shot way for your assured success. And finally, with limited days left for your career defining exam, this practicing content is made available by Finance MCQ at direct fifty percent discount. So take advantage of this huge discount and subscribe to the course now. The link is given in the description box below. So friends, see you all in the next video. Till then, thank you very much for watching. Take care and goodbye.